In August 2021, I took a photo of cherries in a bowl and promptly launched into a months long fascination with capturing the highlights, shadows, and curves of fruit with paints. For a school project later on, I continued the theme, but with corks. Quickly, I came to the realization that I hate painting cork and was less than pleased with the outcome of the piece, so I primed over it, much to the horror of some Instagram and TikTok followers. Painting blueberries, the second painting in my sustenance series, was nearly as joyful as painting cherries was. The main wet blanket being that I needed to translate the style and feeling from cherries onto the subsequent pieces in the series, which was a little challenging. It's important to me to have a cohesive group when the series is finished, so I wanted to work with the same brushes and use the same techniques. The aesthetic goal is to create something hyper real, yet bordering on impressionism. I wanted viewers to be able to stand back and see a photograph, and yet when standing close, I want that image to fragment into geometric shapes. I start with an underpainting to tone the canvas because I find that the stark white of the priming gesso can be intimidating at times, and toning the canvas allows for a warmth to bleed through, as well as offer an initial layer for the subsequent layers of paint to better adhere to. When working with acrylic paint, layering is important. So by the time I'm finished with a blueberry, I've done four to five passes, deepening color as well as brightening highlights. I typically work from dark to light and a section is finished when I've added those last little highlights, which is my favorite part. These paintings are so fascinating to me because I get to work between subtlety and vivacity. You can see the subtle blends of color in the low light reflections where the shine of a berry refracts off of those adjacent to it, bringing quiet attention to the shadowed curves of the fruit. An additional fascination and delight of mine with these paintings are the areas where there's sharp contrast, like the geometric shapes of the boldest highlights against the darker backgrounds. I love watching the canvas and underpainting disappear. To me, it feels like completing a puzzle with each new section or piece falling into place. Nearly as satisfying as painting the highlights is when I get to pull the tape off of the edges. For these projects, I like to pull the image around the sides by a half inch, leaving the remaining space as the blonde wood of the cradled birchwood panel. Finally, I apply a coat of satin varnish. Doing this helps protect the painting, but also the individual paints have their own sheen levels, so a varnish actually evens that out to provide a cohesive viewing experience. Next on the roster for this series is my painting coffee beans. Following after are my paintings lemons, then gummy bears, and then pickles. The rest is to be determined at this time. I am stupidly excited to see it all come together. You can find original paintings and prints of this series and others on my website if that interests you. And follow along to see this series come to fruition, pun intended, haha. -ha.